We continue our focus on women on Good Day Chicago during this Women's History Month. And this morning, a Chicago trailblazer soaring to new heights. We are thrilled to be joined this morning by U.S. Navy Commander Tony Miggins, one of the very few black women and very few women at all to become a naval flight officer. Wow, what a feat. Hey, Commander, thank you so much for coming on the show today. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. Well, you know, we understand that recently that you earned the rank of commander. Um, I have to imagine we don't see a lot of female commanders in your role. What does that feel like for you? Um, it's a little bit daunting, to tell you the truth, uh, but it's been a great experience so far, and I can only uh, just be thankful for the many women that have, you know, come before me and have really trailblazed the way to allow for this opportunity and for the Navy for giving so many options. You know, you mentioned the word trailblazer. I mean, you really are, but I have to imagine it wasn't easy to get there. There are a lot of people that want those positions and a lot of men want those positions. So you really had to stand out in the crowd. Uh, how difficult was that for you to get there? Uh, you know, I think everybody kind of shares the difficulty. Um, it is a challenging career path, and those that um, are willing to step up to the task are usually rewarded with uh, the ability to not only fly aircraft in this case, uh, but to also, you know, hopefully have a long career in a job that they love, which I do. Now, we understand <laughs> that you've sort of fell in love with everything and it's all because your mom started taking you to the air and water show here every summer. Um, tell us a little bit about that experience and, and why you were so drawn to the sky. Um, honestly, I love the sound of jet noise that hasn't changed in the gosh, probably now 30 years since I've been going to or since I've been going to the air and water show. Um, I always knew I was going to be drawn to something exciting, police force, firefighting, military. Um, but the air and water show, we would go to North Avenue Beach every August and uh, there was just something about it. And I don't think it was really solidified until I got to high school. Yeah, you're quite an inspiration for young girls and women who you know want to break barriers because they see you in that role and they're like, if she can do that, I can do that. Um, do you see yourself as an inspiration? Uh, not particularly, um, but I would hope that that more women will just see that there are plenty of opportunities in the Navy and especially naval aviation out there. And it's a really fulfilling and exciting career path. And I hope that the more that they see, the more people that they see that look like them uh, provides that inspiration to possibly think of other avenues um, other than maybe some normal or traditional career paths. Yeah, I mean, you've been doing this for 17 years. <laughs> I have to imagine that where you are today and where women are today in the military is completely different than what it was 17 years ago. What in your mind sticks out as something that has really changed for women? Um, honestly, I don't necessarily know if anything's really changed, but other than the fact that I, I just think that more people are interested, um, there's definitely more of a want to do something exciting and the options now as we go year by year and the ability for women to get into career paths that were previously limited to them, I think just really opens the doors to a lot more opportunity and it's really exciting to see so many more women on the flight lines across the United States. I completely agree with you. Well, Navy Commander and Chicago native Tony Miggins, thank you so much for sharing your story with our viewers today. And I know you don't see yourself as an inspiration, but I got to tell you that you are.